Hey there, it's Corey from The Abundant Artist, and today I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you about uh, the Divi 3.0 release. Um, Divi is a WordPress theme, and the new release, the 3.0 release, is a complete visual builder. It is awesome, and it's a complete uh, revolution in the way that WordPress uh, websites are made. I just want to take you through a quick view of how this works. So. I have installed uh, Divi 3.0 on a basic WordPress install. If you're looking for how to do a basic WordPress install, you can check it out uh, over on the blog. I have some links on how to do that. But once you've installed uh, basic WordPress, this is what the home page looks like. Um, I, I've added a couple of pages here, but I want to design a new home page from scratch with Divi 3.0. This is the visual editor. So normally to do anything in WordPress, you have to go into the back end and you have to navigate through all the menus hit new, new page or whatever. Here, you create a new page and I'm gonna create, I wanna create a full width header uh, that uh, lets me use a really nice uh, big image. So I'm gonna create add new section, full width, and then I'm gonna find the full width slider down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna say add new item. I'm gonna pick an image here. Let's pick, uh, I've uploaded some, uh, some free images of Leonardo da Vinci's drawings. And I'm going to create a, a, a new homepage for Leonardo da Vinci's work as if he were an artist uh, currently selling right now. So uh, I am going to say uh, shop fine art. And I'm gonna give it a button URL for my shop page. And that's that. So I hit that little check mark button and I've got this top section here. Now Divi gives you this uh, top section by default. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go down here and say, add, whoops, not there. I'm gonna go here at the bottom of my set first section here at the bottom of my header. I'm gonna say add a new section. And this one's gonna be a little different. I wanna create uh, three images that correspond to the three kinds of art that I make. So I'm gonna click regular and I'm gonna create three little sections for myself. Now Divi comes with a bunch of pre-made modules. I think there's about 40 of them. Um, but rather than scrolling through and trying to find the one I want, I just know that I want an image. So click image. And then where do I want that image to go? I know that uh, one, of the art, one of the pieces of art in my shop is a skull. So I'm just gonna, whoops, not there. I'm gonna grab the image that I want and then I'm going to put a link URL in here. Hit save. Now, oh, and there's one other thing I wanna change here because Oops. I don't want this to fade in. So I'm gonna turn off the animation, which is Yep, right here. I'm gonna say no animation. And then I'm gonna add uh, another image here. Look at the images that are in my library. And I'm gonna add, oops. If I had in my shop already, I would add a, I would add a link to that. So, oops, link URL, post the link there. And then animation, turn that off. And then we're gonna add one more. And I can I know over in my shop I've got the Tuscan village. So I'm gonna add another image. And this image is gonna be of the Tuscan village. I'm gonna grab a link address there. And the link URL is gonna be there. Oops move the animation 
Okay, so now if anybody clicks on any of these images, they're going to get a link to the specific product page. So I'm going to, but I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add a new row with three columns again, and I'm going to add a text title below each image so that people know what they're shopping for. So here I'm going to add uh, shop skulls. I'm going to center it. All right. Now the cool thing here is if I want to change the size of that text or the font, I can change the font in whatever, you know, there's hundreds of fonts that are already preloaded. I can change it to an H2 tag or an H1 tag or just turn it off. I can make the text a lot bigger. And then I can recenter if I mess up. So then you can see oops, how it looks. And I'm going to do the same thing in the center of this one. Shop. Uh, and if I want, I can even copy and paste this text from here to here. to recenter that and then the same thing here Oops. shop villages whoops let's uh, center that text. Now you've got a nice looking home page. Let's say that I want to change the way that this uh, shop fine art button looks. So to do that I'm gonna mouse over oops. Oops, here we go. I'm gonna click the little gear icon here and then I'm gonna select this first gear icon because that's the background, the first slider image that we've created. And I can change this from blue to white just by selecting the text color, blue to white or back to blue. And if I want to maybe change the contrast of the image a little bit, I can change the background, use a background overlay, turn that off, use text overlay. Whoops, that's, for the, that's if you want to add additional text. So that you can see that there's a lot of easy ways to play around to get this to look the way that you want it. And then I scroll down here and with the individual text below these images, I can actually make really specific changes to those. So in addition to the sizing and the fonts that I showed you just a second ago, you can also change the colors, yellow, whatever. There's a whole obviously a whole range of colors that you can change. All right, so once I'm done and it looks the way that I want it to look, how do I, I hit this little button here and I go ahead and hit save. And it's published. Now, if, I'm, if I wanna see, if I wanna double check some things, if I wanna see how this looks on mobile, because remember about half of all uh, web traffic happens on mobile now, I click on this little mobile view and it shrinks it down to what it would look like on a mobile phone. You can see whether or not you like the way your image looks. Uh, I would probably move some things around or change this text a little bit. Scroll down and you see the way that it would work on mobile. Obviously we need to change some of those things around, but you get the idea. All right, so let's talk about a couple of other things. Let's talk about adding a new blog post. So normally to add a new blog post, you have to click go into the WordPress dashboard, click add new post. That's still true. <clears throat> so I, I can go click add new post and I get a screen that looks like this. But if I have a hard time getting my blog posts to look the way I want them to look, I can say use the Divi Builder and then use the Visual Builder. This pops over to the front page of the, of the blog. And now I can Add row and add some text. Whoops. 
works just the same way we did with the front page. And here, whoops, here, I can just start typing. And you'll see uh, my text is appearing there as I'm typing. And let's say that you want to start inserting some of your images because you're blogging about your art. So you can insert a new row and add some stuff. Add a, you see that I split the column into two thirds, one third. So over here on the right, I'm going to add an image and I'm going to grab one of the images from my media library. And then over here on the left, I can uh, type up a, whoops, type a, I need to add a module here, text, there we go. And I can just start typing here, and then you'll see that the text is there and I can double click that and a, oops. Okay, so now I'm typing up a description of the image and I can add, maybe if I wanna give some real emphasis, give a particular oops, line emphasis I can highlight just that line, change the color, make it bigger. You get the idea. So this is a pretty profound change in the way that uh, WordPress usually usually works. You, normally you go into the back end of WordPress, you go to the dashboard and you edit everything from there. Now that's still true for the shop. If you're going to if you're going to use e-commerce like WooCommerce, Divi doesn't handle the editing of WooCommerce, but for creation of blog posts and layout of your pages, uh, this is a pretty profound change in the way that WordPress works. And I'm pretty excited about it. So in a in a just that is how Divi works. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It should be a pretty easy way for you to create a website for yourself and I hope that it works out. Let me know how it goes. Oh, uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention, I, I totally forgot and totally spaced this, uh, the Divi library and the Divi documentation are really incredible. So if you head over to the Elegant Themes website, um, the Divi documentation is pretty incredible. It's elegantthemes.com slash gallery slash Divi slash documentation. I'll put up a link to it um, in, this, in the blog post where this review appears. So, They've got a huge number of tutorials. If you can't figure anything out, you can go down and say, how, does, how do all these things work? The images, the, the uh, sliders, all that stuff. There's really just a, a tremendous amount of support here. Uh, they show you, they have little tutorials on how to do almost everything in uh, Divi. So you really don't need anything other than just signing up. Uh, as far as signing up goes, the prices are totally, totally reasonable. For something this awesome, it's $69 uh, for a year's access to, uh, you, you download the theme, you get the theme forever. But uh, with the, um, that $69, you get a perpetual theme updates. So you get all the updates to the, to the Divi theme um, and you get a year's worth of access to their uh, customer support forums. Uh, so the, for, the support forums are awesome. I totally recommend it. Uh, you can also just get lifetime access access for $249. Uh, I highly recommend that. I, I purchased lifetime access a couple of years ago. Uh, that way you get not only Divi, but you also get all of the plugins that Elegant Themes makes, as well as all the other stuff that, that they decide to put out. It's a really great deal. Uh, so again, uh, I can't tell you how excited I am about Divi. I think it's just a great option for artists. Uh, so check it out.